slightly to right. Good approach by McDonough, sinking, and Burleson with an outstanding catch. Man, he came up with it. Late call by the third full count. And the swing and the miss by Brad Debo. And the second out of the inning. Second punch out by. This one's well hit to left. Burleson on the run again and makes a diving catch. Two web gems in the inning for Alec Burleson. The ubiquitous presence for the ECU Pirates. And they are coming up in the second. Oh, that one's a rocket up the middle. Burleson around third, sent home by Godwin. Here comes the throw from center. And Alec Burleson scores the second run of the game for the Pirates. An RBI for Jake Washer, his 47th of the year. And it's fouled. Watch this pitch. It's left up in the strike zone. Washer doesn't miss it. That's a little bit above the belt. And I'm telling you what, any league, any level, when you get the ball up in the zone, you're going to get hurt of it. There's another shot up the middle. Jenkins with a base hit. McDonough fields it. His throw is well off the line. And Brickhouse will score standing up for the third run of the game. And that juices up the crowd at Clark LeClaire Stadium even more as Brickhouse is carried to the dugout by his Pirate teammates. Get out of the bottom of the third inning here. This is well hit past Evan Edwards at first base. Godwin sends the runner around third. It's boxed around by Devontae Brown. He's sending Jen Jenkins around third. Here comes the throw from Jarrett to the plate. Not in time. Two-run score, Washer and Jenkins, and the ECU Pirates have exploded in the third. They lead 5-1. to one. Boy, what a great play, but watch this. More than two years. That one's well hit by Washer. Brown back to the track, looking up, and that one is a goner. Home run, Jake Washer. Two-run shot, and the Pirates pour it on again. He came back to finish it yesterday. They lost to the Fighting Camels, and he's flailing at that one on the outside corner. Eighth strikeout. And that is a record tying strikeout for Jake Agnos. 290 strikeouts in his career, tying an AAC record. He's tied with seven. Different feel to him, maybe different slope. Or... Just Brad took Debo the shot. Well done. Brown, major league play. Hang a star on that one. Boy, he has been an absolute vacuum. Hoover out there at second base, excuse me, shortstop, just picking it. And the one, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. ECU lives for another game. And NC State headed home for the summer. A great win. Super proud of our guys. Uh, you know, resilient group after a tough loss last night. Uh, can't say enough about Jake Agnos. I thought NC State has one of the best offenses that we've faced all year. And for Jake to go out there and throw eight innings and do what he did in a time when our bullpen was obviously a little bit uh, taxed from last night. So uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a kid pitch in that kind of circumstance against a quality opponent like that in my coaching career. I've had some opposing pitchers do it to some of the teams I've coached, but I've never had a guy like Jake do it in front of a crowd like that. I thought our crowd was unbelievable. Got chills talking about it. I thought Wash was tremendous. You're talking about a you know, red shirt junior who really didn't play much for two years. I say this all the time and persevered through a lot of adversity and hurt his arm. And, you know, the last two years, he's been a staple behind the plate. And he blocks every ball that guys throw in the dirt. And, you know, just super proud of our guys. I can't say enough about it. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like when I went home last night, I actually slept well. I didn't sleep long, but I slept, slept well. I knew they would respond. I just know it's going to be tough because we're facing such a quality opponent. I think today's game was definitely just a representation of the team we are this year. Um, we got a lot of tough guys, and 
I mean, falling to a four, a four seed last night, like that's tough. But us being able to bounce back and put up a nine spot on NC State, like we're back in it. You know, we were never out of it, but you know, we got back to work. We didn't let that affect us. And the way we bounced back today shows us that, hey, we're right where we want to be. So you know, we got a lot of baseball left.